hey guys how are you and today i will make this basic fire very quickly and this all uh, done without any texture just using a material created and a nigra and if you like this tutorial if you learn something new today just do me a favor subscribe my channel hit like and share and comment and also go to my profile just click here and you will get this side and you can contribute something in these so i can have good mic monitor or you can support me to just leave my job so i can do this work full time for you guys so let's start this tutorial so let's start this so i'll just create a quick material and fire and if you don't have any texture you can do something here so i'll just use translate material and why i'm using translate i should take the additive in fire but i will make also smoke from that same so that's why i'm using translate although you can separate it i'll show you how so this is planar and if you don't have any texture if you have a texture that's good if you don't have you can just take a noise and if i connect this here this is how it looks like the preview and you can of course change the size but you can make it 2d because this is 3d so to make it 2d first take this make plot 3 connect this then take break plot 2 and connect this and then you can use your texture coordinate here and now you have this 2d noise like a texture and i'll just make the size 1 because now it's 2d so size is different and now we'll change some settings i don't want turbulent i don't want this from minus i just want values from zero to one and size will be uh, i'll decrease this also level so it will be like this maybe size five yeah okay and maybe and I'll also take the Vornoi, maybe two. Yeah, this looks fine. Now I can change it to back to two. And now I'll take the radial. And if I multiply these together, radial will cut it out in a radial form, of course. Then you can use a power node. So you can have a control on it, how much you want. And if you want to stretch it you can just stretch it on one axis like this this noise like this but let it be for now or maybe a little bit we can stretch it cool and to change the pattern you can just add a offset so if i add time just to show you it will pan and instead of time you can just take a value and then if it's i'll show you in real time this is changing right you can also animate it so let's say you just and this is going diagonal if i if you just want it to go up take the append not this one append vector and i don't want anything on x but i want only y so only y will animate cool now let's take the particle color and just multiply this with this and connect this here and also multiply this with the alpha and connect this in the opacity and i'll take the dynamic parameter and just connect this here it will be pan okay cool and i think i'll decrease the density or let's make a parameter for that so we will decide how much density we need for that radial so density and let's save it we have saved the material now i'll just take the nigra empty one and nx fire and let's make some space for the fire and i'll take this gray one darker one and i'll just take the emitter and let's take fountain inside the fountain i'll just let it come yeah i'll just change the material 
So just browse this and select this here. And I'll take the dynamic parameter. And the pan is zero, density should be at least like one to show, but I will make it two for now. Velocity I'll use, but just the linear, and I don't need any gravity, or just you can use positive gravity. I will not use shape for now. And let's make the let's zoom it. And life may be one and point five or maybe point five and point six. And then I'll take the size and this will go like this, but it should scale up quickly. Like this should scale up like at point two, it should be one. Or maybe at point two it should be like point eight and that and one it should be one okay and instead of this i'll take the color and curve and of course this should be from yellow yellow to orange -ish. orange to maybe red like this much or little darker and then at the end almost black this opacity curve i'll put here so we can see all and let's reduce the spawn rate maybe 10 okay so and i'll make the size maybe 20 maybe 40 and 35 and it has random rotations so what i'll do let's use it velocity align and see this all looks same so we need to just this pan we need to randomize this like so this will be different for every okay and we can also like make this float so we can increase the brightness initially so let's say at zero it should be like 10 and then 0.3 it should be one so it will be very bright here let's increase the spawn rate for now let us make it minus one and also because uh, we can also use the separate for y so i'll just this is actually not pan i'll just call it offset y and we will also use offset x and connect this here so we will have random on x also so now in here i'll just copy this and just refresh it and paste it on x so there will be more randomness and i guess the size shouldn't be zero maybe point three and in the color i'll just offset this here and i'll put almost white here so it will have some layer you will notice and just move it here this one here now it's more visible and let's try to increase the alpha a little bit like if i make it five so smoke will be visible now and we can make life a little higher okay we can also play with the size like this some are bigger some are smaller okay so you can also use it like a trail so if i drag it into the viewport and press f just to focus see it's like a trail and looks cool and it also looks cool here now what you can do what i was uh, telling you in the material this is like translucent what you can do you can just duplicate this let's make it or you can just make it in stance and then make it additive and save and i'll browse this material fire one 
I'll duplicate my emitter, copy and paste. In the second one, I'll just use that and see. It's not making anything darker. And I'll just delete this for now. So it has this and let's fade this from here. And I'll make the light maybe 0.8, 0 0.6. And so it's just a fire and if you'll see both together you can make the shorting of this one so it will be above that and you can also make it a little more brighter maybe two or five and reduce the spawn rate maybe five so that will have more variation and looks more cool and that smoke uh, you can just make the light a little more random in this one and also the size of the smoke should be bigger should be more bigger like this it looks cool i hope you like this you can use it in your game it's very basic and easy to create and if you don't want to use that noise you just need to create this pattern in the photoshop or just screenshot of this then randomize the offset then take the screenshot of this again then randomize it again do this four or five times and use that as a sub uv for your random frames so this is what you can so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye